What are the suburbs in Phoenix? And what are my three favorite things about living in the Valley? It's starting right now. Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin McKegg. I am a realtor here in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I'm talking about the cities surrounding Phoenix and additional suburbs in the Valley. I've made a lot of videos about living in Phoenix and have mentioned many other cities throughout the Valley and those other suburbs of Phoenix. And I figured today I'm going to break it down on a map, show you where they're located and hopefully that gives you a better idea of where you might want to live in the valley. I'm also giving you my three favorite things about living in Phoenix, so stay tuned for that at the end. So let's jump right in and take a look at the map to help you navigate the areas that you might want to live. Okay, so here is a map of the valley and it is pretty large, um, so I think the best way for me to kind of break things down is I'm going to start by showing you the freeways in the valley. Um, and that kind of helps you get a point of reference of where some of these cities are. So um, one of the major freeways in Phoenix is the Loop 101, and it is a loop. You can see how that goes around um, the top of the valley, uh, starting from you know west around east, and then it goes down and meets up with the lower 202, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and so the 101 is a big loop. Um, we also have the I-10, which I'm sure you're familiar with, um, depending on where you're from. So the I-10 is a huge freeway. It actually goes all the way over to California. And then it also connects down um, to Tucson. So um, the I-10 is a huge freeway. It goes from west to east, east to west here in Phoenix. And it actually um, is highly trafficked super congested and most people hate driving on the 10, but it does do the job of getting you from east to west. Um, if you want to cut through the valley north to south, now we've got a couple major freeways here. So the 51 really connects from the 101 at the top down into Phoenix to the 10 and to the 202. So that is a good way to get you from north to south, depending on where you are in the valley. And then the I-17 is also another north to south freeway. Now the I-17 goes north through Anthem up to New River and north further and further. This will take you up to Flagstaff um, and into the mountains. So if you are going to a cooler climate and higher elevation, I-17 will get you there. Um, it also connects to the 74, so you can go to Lake Pleasant and on to Las Vegas. Um, <clears throat> also, if you're looking at this map here, so we've covered the 101 loop, we've covered the 10, which goes east to west, west to east, and the 17 south, the 51 south and north. Um, the 303 is another large loop that we are working on currently in construction, and this is gonna be helpful to take some of the traffic um, out of these other freeways. So the loop 303 is in progress. This connects down to the 10. So all of these far west valley cities, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. All these far West Valley cities like Buckeye, Goodyear, um, all of this will connect or it does connect to the 303 and that will continue around. Now moving over to the East Valley. Um, the East Valley has its own set of freeways over here. So we have the 202, which is also a loop and you can see it goes around here in the East Valley. Now there's two different 202 loops. So the north loop is called the Red Mountain Freeway. And that's going to connect you around here. And then once it hits the 60 going south, the south 202 is called the Santan Freeway. So that's how we differentiate between the two. But essentially, uh, the 202 is going to be your loop 
for the East Valley. Now the 60 here splits right through it. So 60 is a great east to west freeway um, in the East Valley and this actually takes you out to Apache Junction, Gold Canyon, um, and further. So um, the 202, if anyone's talking about that, that's usually referring to somewhere in the East Valley um, and the 60 as well. This 87 highway takes you out if you're going towards Globe, uh, Payson, again, another uh, area to get into the mountains out that way, not a main freeway that you use to travel throughout the valley typically. So that's kind of the breakdown of the freeways, which helps you get a bit of an anchor on where you might be in the valley. And let's talk about these suburbs. So obviously we have Phoenix here in the center. Just east of Phoenix, you've got Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, and Tempe. That's where ASU is located. Now, just west of Phoenix, you have Glendale, Tolleson, Peoria, some of these West Valley cities here. If you continue on west, some of the other West Valley cities that are a bit further out, you've got Litchfield Park, uh, Goodyear, Buckeye is out here a little bit further west, Surprise, Sun City West. So all of these are considered your West Valley cities and really they're in the avenues and they are just west of the I-17. If we go east, we're looking at, as I mentioned, Paradise Valley, Scottsdale, Tempe. Fountain Hills is out here too, pretty far east, um, pretty much the furthest east you can go as it relates to uh, the Scottsdale area up here. And then um, looking even further east, so the true East Valley is out here. And this is where we have Mesa, Gilbert, and Chandler, all very popular areas to live. Um, some of the furthest east cities is Patchy Junction out here. Um, and then if you go south, you're gonna see Queen Creek and Santan Valley, um, which are also very popular areas to live as well. Now, as you can tell, this is a little bit more rural out here. We're still building a lot of new construction. The further you go into the city is where you're going to have a lot more um, established city life, essentially. So um, that covers the East Valley. Now, we do have a little pocket here. Um, South Mountain and Ahwatukee area is right here as well. So that Ahwatukee is technically part of Phoenix. and. Um, South Mountain is right here off the I-10. Um, also, Levine, I did not mention, is here in uh, the West Valley, just south of the I-10 as well. So that kind of breaks down the valley for you. I know it's a lot to take in, but to tell you the truth, the way that I learned the valley when I moved here 10 years ago was to understand the freeway system, and then I could figure out which city would lo was located um, on either sides of the valley and within uh, the freeways. So I hope that's helpful for you to understand and to get a little bit of a visual. I hope this breakdown was helpful information. I'm a very visual person and I know learning the valley for me helped by looking at a map and understanding where all the surrounding cities are located. So I hope that was helpful for you. Now, I told you I was gonna share my three favorite things about living in Phoenix. So here they are. My third favorite thing about living in Phoenix is the opportunities here. We have a huge city with all those surrounding suburbs that I just showed you, and there is so much opportunity here for jobs, for sales, for anything that you want, really. We're a growing city, and we are a city that is desired amongst the US to come to for tourists and also to move. My second favorite thing about Phoenix is all of the events that take place here. Since we are such a large city, there is always something going on, whether it's a concert, a sporting event, an outdoor festival of some sort. I love how much activity there is in this city and you can always find something to do. In fact, I post every Friday about weekly events going on in the Valley. So follow the link below to see my blog about weekly events. And my number one favorite thing about living in the Valley is the weather. 
I know the summers are hot, but honestly, the rest of the year is so amazing and it makes for great environment for all of those activities that I just mentioned. I love living in Phoenix because of the variety of weather that we get during a day in the fall. Right now, it feels like winter in the morning and summer during the day and then springtime in the evening. The temperature changes from 50 some degrees overnight to 90 during the day and then back down to a comfortable 75 in the evenings. I don't know many other places that you can get that type of weather. So those are my top three favorite things about living in Phoenix. If you've lived here before, comment below and let me know what your favorite things are. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you watching. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, check out my resources below or feel free to give me a call. I'm Caitlin McKegg with Berkshire Hathaway. Thanks for watching.